Hey YouTube friends. Um, I am just going to do a video today that um, if you've watched, well I'm not even sure if I said it in my last video, but um, I'm just going to do a kind of fall makeup haul, but it's um, pretty much just lipstick and nail polish, but it's just kind of showing the kinds of um, colors I'm sort of into right now. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll do the nail polishes first because there's not very many of them. Um, first, um, this one is by Face Stockholm for J. Crew, and it is called Coats de Rhone, I think. Yeah, Coats de Rhone, but it's C O A. You're not going to be able to read this. Even the the girl in the store was like, "What color is this?" She couldn't read it. She was like, she really liked it, but she couldn't read the color. And someone else like came over to read it to her. Okay, it's C O A T S D U R H O N E, and that's three separate words. <laughs> in case, um, yeah. So, but this is just like a really vampy, like uh, blood red burgundy. So, really nice. Um, I have that on my toes right now, but uh, I don't think you want to see that. And then um, I also love. I love nudes all year round, but this one um, I was particularly impressed with. It is the Sally Hansen Insta, Insta Dry in 150 Petal Pusher. So um, I posted an Instagram picture of this too. My Instagram is Don't Call Me Jesse. I always link it down below. I'm totally obsessed with Instagram. Um, if you're on Instagram, you should let me know and I'll follow you too, probably. So this one is by China Glaze. And it is called Perfect Plum. Purr like a cat. Focus! Focus. It doesn't want to focus. Anyways, this is Perfect Plum. Sammy, why you always want to be in my videos? Come here then. Don't you mess up the camera. We'll see if he wants to make a cameo later. But, um, so that's pretty much it for lipsticks. Um, I also got this, <laughs> this is so disorganized as all my videos are. I also got this blush by Rimmel. Um, it is the Lasting Finish Blush in 008 Spring Flower. Um, this is surprisingly pretty for a Rimmel blush. I say that because everybody always raves about these blushes, but I just have yet to find a drugstore blush that I actually think is decently pigmented and stays on all day. This one does not stay on all day. I'll say that lasting finish is a misleading name, but, um, this is really pretty. The only thing is if you can see the color in the middle is super sparkly. And so what I try to do, this blush is garb or this brush is garbage, by the way, <laughs> I tried to use it. It was just like stripe. So, um, I don't recommend using the brush, but I did try to get like a dense flat top brush and just get this shade and this shade to mix together because that makes a really pretty like NARS du Soir kind of dusty, um, dusty brown rose kind of color. And, um, but the color in the middle is just disgusting. <laughs> it's, um, it's just too sparkly and I have acne scars and stuff and really sparkly blushes just don't do me any favors. So, but, um, this, I'm going to show you two other things too, because I was really happy. Ulta had a $5 off $10 coupon. And I also had $3, um, in rewards points. So I know everybody has different rewards programs at Ulta, but our program, I think kind of sucks. We don't get the free perfumes or anything. Um, we just get like dollar amounts off. So I think they're changing it again though, probably because the rewards programs don't make any sense. But um, anyways, other two things that I got when Ulta was running that promotion. And so basically I got these two Revlon lipsticks and this Rimmel blush for $5 <laughs> um, because Revlon products were on sale and Rimmel blushes were on sale too. So I got this lipstick and um, this is a super lustrous lipstick by Revlon and uh, pink in the afternoon for 15 this is kind of a hard color to come across, but, um, my friend Elise blushes the new black. She talks about this color all the time. It's like one of her holy grail lipsticks. So it's just a really nice, like rosy pink, kind of an everyday kind of color. Usually it's like out of my comfort zone. Anything that's not like 
nude or peachy pink, but I actually really like that color. And the other one that I got is this one, which is, again, super lustrous. Um, these are both cream finishes, by the way. Uh, this is 630 Raisin Rage. And this is a really vampy, like brown toned berry red. But um, this color is amazing. Really like this one. Highly recommend that if you're looking for a kind of vampy lipstick. Oh my gosh. When has my phone ever rang in a video? I'm going to have to call her back. That was uh, Rudy, the um, former owner of Charlie. So um, let's see. <laughs> what should I tell you about next? Oh, uh, well, since we're talking about vampy shades, um, I went to Kmart of all places. Uh, I actually, there goes Charlie and Mouse and they're choosing each other. Yay. Um, and I really don't like Kmart. Every time I go in there, I feel like it's a ghost town. There's like never anybody in there. It's always like super quiet and just like, it kind of creeps me out to be honest. But one thing I will say is that they always have a really good selection of drugstore makeup in terms of like the regular collections. Um, they always have a lot more products in stock than like Target does or Walmart or God, Walmart doesn't ever have anything, but, um, Ulta, they have a really good stock of products. So I got, um, and the Kmart by me also carries Wet n Wild. So I really like Wet n Wild's matte lipsticks and I knew that, um, they had some really good like vampy shades. So I wanted to check them out. The first one that I got is, um, that's one thing. I hate these lids. They get so messy without like you any effort. <laughs> they get messy. So this is um, 908C Sugar Plum Fairy. It doesn't say the name on the bottom. I just have a good memory. But this shade is a total dupe. It's this one of Mac Rebel. And I've seen lip swatches on other blogs. I googled it because I thought, oh my god, this shade looks so much like Rebel. Um, and it really is a dupe. So if you're interested in a dupe for Mac Rebel. Uh, Wet n Wild 908C. Both of these have really good coverage too. So a ugh, gross cap again. Um, this is 918D, which is Cherry Bomb. And this color I'm super in love with. It's this kind of, see, I have a problem like pulling off kind of orangey reds and um, berry tones which, you know, this one is kind of a berry tone, but, um, for the most part, I have trouble pulling off berry tones. So I'm more of like kind of the blood red burgundies look better on me, I think. Um, and then the third lipstick that I got from Kmart is this one by Revlon, which is from their matte lipstick line. And it's, um, number zero one zero. Why not? It's not focusing. I think because I zoomed my lens a little bit, so I wanted it to be more focused on me, but, um, this is, wine not and the formula of these is really nice it's this one right here it's a really deep shade um so there's that and i'm sure you want to know what i'm wearing on my lips right now it is i think the only thing i'm going to show you that's not a drugstore item because with these kinds of colors i think it's like with things that aren't really in your comfort zone i think it's better to try lots of different things from the drugstore than invest in one big thing from a luxury brand just because it, it's like just to test the waters and see what you do like um instead of dropping a lot of money on something that you might not like but um either way <laughs> I saw this in the store and it was basically the perfect lipstick and it's what I'm wearing right now this is um the Rouge Pure Couture the matte lipstick like M-A-T is how they spell it. Um, this is 206 Granat Satisfaction. So you can't, it just says the number on the bottom anyways. That's what YSL always does and it's confusing. And this is that color. Of all the other colors that I got, I would say the Wet n Wild, um, was it 910C, 910D? Let me see, uh, 918D cherry bomb that one is the closest dupe for this but um it's not quite the same type of formula this formula is so smooth 
And um, what what I do, I th this is really important to say because these kinds of shades are very difficult to apply precisely. So um, what I tend to do is just kind of, I'm looking in the mirror to make sure I don't get this on my face, um, is I just kind of put a little bit in the middle of my lips and then I kind of like this shape of a bullet is really nice with this kind of lipstick because you can more you can get a more precise um, application for your top lip because that's that tends to be the hardest part. But um, I just put a little on the bottom, a little on the top, and I just blend it out with my finger and put a little bit more, blend out with my finger, and um, it just applies it the most evenly, I found. And it also um, tends to make it more of a stain. So this is not a regret at all it's pretty much amazing so um i love this and i highly recommend it um so just a couple more drugstore things oh i did bring out the the case for the ysl one in case um i forgot the name <laughs> but it's not focusing so it's no point in me showing you the box um boom, boom, boom. so in terms of maybelline I have, um, you already know, my beloved Refined Russet from the Limited Edition collection. The one thing with dark lipsticks is that they're so hard to wash off here <laughs> and like when you swatch them. So that's Refined Russet. It's definitely more of a brown toned shade. So out of my comfort zone, but for some reason I find it flattering when most shades aren't. Like this one, which was a mistake purchase. <laughs> this is um, totally toffee. These are both from the color, color sensational line. Um, this is two fifteen. So, on the hand, it doesn't look so bad. It's kind of like a blankety shade, but a little bit more brown. Um, blankety by Mac. But yeah, this uh, totally toffee shade looks very nine hundred two one zero brown on me. If you know, I'm talking about old school nine hundred two one zero, not new school. <laughs> but um. If you if you watch 90210 back in the day, they always wore like brown <laughs> lipsticks. Like what was there was like a MAC one that was that's infamously like the 90210 shade, but I can't remember the name, which which one it is. So um this is from the color the cover girl. Like I said, I was really like experimenting with drugstore. It's like almost every brand of <laughs> lipsticks. Um this is from CoverGirl. And this is 255 delish i've looked at this shade so many times and in terms of the rest of the um i think these are called lasting perfection in terms of that line this is the nudist shade but it's not very nude compared to because these are extremely pigmented and um they're very smooth but there's something about this line I don't like. I don't really like CoverGirl in general. It's probably my least favorite um, drugstore brand. But um, it I actually really like this on my lips, but I don't like how it tastes and the taste does not go away. It tastes kind of like vanilla and pencils. <laughs> like it doesn't taste like plastic. It tastes like wood shavings or something. I don't know if any of you guys have tried these and feel the same way or if you think that I'm crazy. But um, I do like the, you know, the bottom kind of represents the color decently. But um, although not really with this shade, but with other shades I've tried. <clears throat> Can you believe I'm still losing my voice? This is depressing. <clears throat> but, oh, I forgot. Well, also from CoverGirl, I had gotten this lip liner, which I really like that these CoverGirl lip liners, I never pay attention to lip liners. I like that they show, like you can see the tip and the top. That's very... Um, convenient. So this is the Lip Perfection Liner in uh, 210 Seduce. I'm going to do the lip liners up top. But this is a pretty nice nude shade. It's more of like, like a peachy nude, but still quite nice. And I like the formula. It's very creamy. So, um, yeah. And then I got this one from Kmart. I forgot to show you this. This is the Jordana Lip Liner. And I totally... Um, it's the easy liner for lips and it's a retractable pencil. Um, I bought this completely without seeing the color on the inside. Um, but, and I also left my phone in my car so I couldn't Google them, but I really lucked out because this is like a, like under $2. These 
pencils are so nice. I wish I would have gotten another shade if I'm going to be venturing into lip liners. This stays really well. This shade is a plush plum, but um, this is really nice. I really like this. So I should have gotten, there's a darker shade too that I should have picked up, but I'm using this a little bit to help. Um, I used it a little bit today to help me more precisely apply this YSL lipstick. Um, then one of these isn't actually a recent purchase, but I thought I would show it anyways. So these are the um, Colorburst Lip Butters that everybody knows about by Revlon. This is Pink Truffle, which I got because of my friend Jen, who talks about this shade a lot. Um, she has numbers in her name, and I always have a hard time remembering numbers, so <laughs> I'll just link her below. So that's Pink Truffle. This shade is still kind of out of my comfort zone for me. It's almost like, it's almost berry, and it's sheer, so. But um, this one is, I always find my hairs on things. Does that happen to you guys? <laughs> um, this is uh, Red Velvet which is a very vampy shade, but I loved the name of that back in the day, so I bought it even though it was totally out of my comfort zone. And then last but not least, totally impulse purchase. I got this from um, Walmart when I ran in to buy um, garbage bags and cat food, <clears throat> but um, this is a lipstick from Hard Candy. It's called Megawatt, <clears throat> Megawatt Smile. Oh my god, stupid. So um, this is Make a Watt Smile by Hard Candy, and it's really stupid, and I wish I wouldn't have bought it. <laughs> so it's really sheer. I mean, it looks nice when you put it on, but um, and it tastes really minty. I like that, but it just feels really like slippery, and it lasts like two seconds. And then it also has this really awkward tooth whitener at the bottom. Who wants a tooth whitener with their lipstick, like in their purse? Just completely impractical. It was six dollars though so it's not like it's the end of the world but stupid and i also got these um maybelline baby lips these were like they have these special limited edition sets right now this one is coral crush i'm running out of space for swatches they're really sheer i mean it's pointless to swatch them honestly this one's even sheerer i think this one is called there's the names aren't on them but um i think oh there is there this is twinkle Yes, this one is like, there's nothing. <laughs> um, but they taste good. The Coral Crush is like a blood orange, and this one is like kind of a Starburst flavor. So last thing, finally, Jesus, I talk so much. Um, this is a Nivea lip balm in um, Milk and Honey, which, A Kiss of Milk and Honey, which I heard about because of Ingrid, Miss Glamorazzi, who I absolutely love. Um, this lips, this lipstick. The slip balm smells so good, and I love this tube. And then it's like a retro yellow. But um, I've been using this a ton. So that is the end of my drugstore. And by the way, it's not like I, I... I don't want anyone to think that I go on like crazy binges at the drugstore. I probably bought these over like 15 different trips to the store. But I've just kind of been saving them to show you guys all together. So... Well, you could probably tell from all the different stores that I got these things from anyways. But anyways, I've been talking a lot, so I'm going to shut up because my voice is totally going. And I'm going to see Frank and Weenie today because I'm just awesome like that. I'm going with my friends. So um, I will see you guys later. Handful of swatches. And um, thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Love you.